need it, right? Feel needed. So even if you don't actually need this nigga to survive, niggas want to feel needed. It's a nigga thing. If it's any niggas on here, any men that feel like I'm lying, say that now. I doubt any nigga on here say she lying. No man wants to be in a relationship where he does not feel needed. We ain't talking about if he actually needed for your livelihood. A nigga want to feel need. Who wants a bitch that's making it clear I don't need you? You ain't finna get now nigga on this motherfucker that say, yeah, yeah, I want a bitch that don't need me. I want a bitch that's vocalizing she don't need me. I want a bitch that's standing on the fact that she don't need me. I want a bitch that it's understood and she say it out loud that she don't need me. Who told y'all that? Who told y'all that? It makes no, your mama told you wrong. Somebody said my mama told, your mama told you wrong. Your mama told your ass wrong. Ain't no real man, no good man, no half of a motherfucking piece of man want to be with a bitch, walk around talking about how she don't need him. And you got to really listen to the verbiage I'm using. A man wants to feel needed. Y'all understand it? We ain't even got to the wanted part. I'm just talking about the needed. Because y'all hoes vocalize too much how you don't need a nigga. And then you wonder why you get niggas that treat you a certain kind of way. Because the niggas that value their bitches, they want bitches that need them. That there is a feeling there that I need it. The people that told y'all that, bless their heart, but they lied. Bless their heart, but they stupid. Bless their heart, but that's not how it works. Bless their heart, but bitch, don't listen to them. Bless their heart, but please, tell them to shut the fuck up. Bless their heart, but that is not what the fuck is going on. Exactly, ask your dad. Men want to feel needed. Men want to feel needed. If you in a relationship right now, girl, stop walking around vocalizing that you don't need a nigga for nothing. Sis, even if you don't need a nigga for nothing, this is a fun fact. The nigga still want to feel needed. Don't tell nobody that shit. Don't tell him that shit. Don't tell your homegirls that shit. Stop telling y'all kids that shit. Don't tell nobody that. No, fuck all that, Sonya. We not talking about want it. We not talking about appreciate it. A man wants to feel needed. No real man wants a bitch that feels like she don't need him. No man wants a woman that is vocalizing and standing on the idea that she don't need him. The foundation of a man feeling like and operating like more of a grown man has to do with the necessity for their presence. Pass y'all feelings. Ask a nigga, who told y'all that niggas want bitches that don't, that need them? I don't give a fuck what it is you make the nigga feel like he needed for. Men want to feel needed. Y'all be telling niggas y'all don't need them. Y'all be Telling other people, y'all don't need, y'all be telling y'all self, y'all don't need the nigga. Like in, ma'am, 
Ma'am, that's not correct. It's not correct. And a lot of niggas is not going to tell y'all this. This is why I'm saying it. Newsflash, bitch. Most niggas is not going to say, hey, don't say that. I need to feel needed. They're not going to say that. As soon as you go to talking that I don't need a nigga for shit, or I don't need, like the post said, well, how you like fumble a woman that don't need you for nothing. They just want you. They don't need nothing from you. They... A nigga immediately, they mind start going in the direction of finding, mixing with, sleeping with, mingling with a bitch that's going to make them feel needed. And this is why a lot of y'all in situations where the nigga still fuck with you, but he fuck with somebody else too. And some of y'all, the nigga fucking with two or three of y'all. And all y'all saying the same thing about not needing a nigga. And that's why all of y'all getting fucked and left. And re-fucked and left. And re-fucked again and left. And I don't mean left like left you somewhere because you know you don't need a nigga. I mean fucked and left alone like a nigga is not trying to build with you. Like fucked and left like that nigga got some pussy and left. Like that nigga be there to get whatever he can get in the moment and he be getting. fuck with her but i fuck with her left like i go over there and get some of that pussy but the bitch really be saying she don't need a nigga and this shit ain't really going nowhere like that but i'm gonna keep hitting that shit like left like yeah i fucked her yeah we got a baby but i ain't trying to do nothing with her and y'all be sitting up you don't want your family nigga don't want no bitch that don't need them and then you raise the kids up to believe they don't need a nigga Every nigga on here gonna tell you I'm preaching gospel right now. I don't know who told y'all that shit. Stop telling people that. Even if that's how you really feel, stop saying that. It's self-sabotaging to relationships that you trying to have. Nigga will not physically leave, but he left your ass, bitch. Soon as you started with that, you don't need a nigga. Niggas want to feel needed. Again, listen to my verbiage. Feel needed. I ain't saying you actually got to need the nigga. Meaning like you could actually be able to pay your bills if he don't help pay them. You could actually be able to take care of your kids financially and physically if he don't help. You could actually be able to maintain yourself as a woman if he don't help. Meaning you don't actually need it, need it. But a nigga don't want to know that. A nigga don't want to see your independent skills. A nigga don't want to see your ability to go get that rose and fuck your own self. A nigga don't want to see your ability to raise children by yourself and keep all men out of the... A nigga don't care nothing about that. Who told y'all this? Nigga don't care nothing. Y'all be, I pay my own bills. I do this. I do. A nigga don't give a fuck about none of that. Where do I fit in this, bitch? What am I needed for? Because if you can do all this shit by yourself, I'm going to just get me some pussy and slide over to the next bitch house. I'm going to just get me some head and go around the corner with my homeboys. I'm going to just slide through and get a plate and eat and go on back over my mama's house. Hang out with my family. Move in some circles where I feel needed. A nigga don't want to see your independent skills. And it's the first thing y'all be doing. Showing niggas how much y'all don't need niggas. And then be wanting a nigga. Like you want a relationship with a nigga. And you go about it by showing niggas how you don't need niggas. How you can fuck yourself. Pay all your bills. Do everything by yourself. Think for yourself, operate for yourself, process for yourself, and then you wonder why the nigga is not taking a relationship with you serious. Who told y'all to say this shit out loud? Like, I know, like, that post I seen earlier, it sounds good to a simple bitch. But to a bitch that really know what's going on, and to a real ass nigga... I don't want to hear my bitch talking about, I don't need anything from you. I just want you. I just want to be with you. 
Honey, I just want you. I just want your presence. Just come over. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. I don't need you to help pay any bills. I don't need you to help be present in the kid's life. I don't need you for anything. I just want you just for you. You know what that sound like to a nigga? A setup. Because as soon as another nigga come around that you just like him for him, I can be replaced. You're going to give up that pussy. You're going to be in his face. Because you don't need a nigga for nothing. And the shit you say you need me for, every nigga got that. The flesh to be a nigga. The body, the dick, the presence. Any nigga can come over here and just be here. Bitch, I need to know me, who I am, my age, what I am to you, my skills that I needed in this equation. This shit is silly. I don't know what to tell y'all from here. This will really be a downfall for y'all in relationships. This really be some self-sabotaging ass shit. And this is what I be talking about when I be saying, get in your feminine. Y'all be trying to lock niggas in by showing them that you don't need a nigga. And you wonder why the niggas don't conform to that at all. Nigga taking you out, you trying to pick up the whole check, pay for your shit. Tell him how you do everything by yourself. Who told y'all this? It's like going to a job, like interview for a position and they telling you how the position already feel. Yeah, you're here for the cashier position. Come on in, sit down. You know, why do you want this job? You go to tell them, they go to tell you, well, we got plenty of cashiers. We really could check out everybody by ourselves. We really got everything covered. Everything's covered. The shelves stay stopped. Everybody gets checked out in the time. What the fuck y'all need me for? What am I here for? Oh no, we still want to hire you. But everything's covered. Everything's covered. We still want to give you a job. But everything. And then when I get in this motherfucker and don't do nothing. Because y'all told me in the interview, everything was fucking covered. You didn't need me. All the lines check out smooth. You don't need me. So then I come in this bitch. And I just stand around. I got my uniform. I'm standing around this motherfucker. No, I'm standing around. Because y'all bitches describe to me a scenario or a scene where you don't need me. So I'm here. Y'all work here. Y'all ask me not work. Y'all work here. I don't be doing shit, though. Yeah, I'm fucking the bitch. I don't be paying no bills, though. I don't be getting her ass shit. Hell no, I don't be doing all that talking. I ain't finna be doing all that arguing with a bitch. Bitch don't even really need me. For real, for real, the whole good. I go drop dick to get a nut, but the bitch be online talking about that rose and how she please herself. Fuck I need to do. Buy the kid. I ain't buying them just shit. She said she can do everything by herself. Fuck I need to buy anything for. If you already got it covered, what the fuck you think you gonna get out of the person by telling them that? Shit don't make no sense, do it. It's crazy how a bitch give y'all a simple analogy and you start to realize how dumb as fuck that shit is that y'all be saying. Who told y'all that? Niggas, it's not gonna tell y'all this. You can get on here and butt all you want. I see somebody type a paragraph. I'm not gonna read it. It's not gonna get read. Niggas, it's not finna tell y'all this. And some niggas will sit there and encourage your ass. Like if I'm one of them niggas that I really ain't trying to put in the effort with this bitch anyway, I'm gonna encourage that hoe to be more independent. Yep, yep, do it, babe. Do it. I E N D E P E N pay everything. Ain't nothing on me. E E E E. Make it easier for me to get free pussy up at you. Yep, you don't need a nigga for nothing. I'm gonna come through for that nut though, cause I need it though. And you gonna get up. Cause low key, you really want a nigga, but somebody done told your ass wrong. Telling y'all some G ass shit. 
That analogy definitely hit like a motherfucker. Who the fuck would do what he work on the job if the job keeps telling you how everything's functioning fine without you? Oh, we just want your presence here. Just be here. Imagine showing up to a job and when you get there, they tell you that's all they wanted was for you to just come in and stand around. You'd use that motherfucker like a motherfucker. Now in the back of your mind, you would keep in mind that this probably ain't going to last, right? Because it don't really make sense. But you know what? I'm going to get this little free money while it lasts. So you're going to be on Indeed somewhere looking for other jobs, but you're going to milk this bitch until they realize this shit is some dumb ass shit they doing. They let me come in here with the uniform on, but I don't actually got to do nothing, right? I'm getting a pussy without having to do anything because I ain't really need it. I'm going to show up to this motherfucker and get this nut that I'm going to do. And I'm knowing this shit ain't gonna last, so of course I'm talking to a couple bitches on the side. Why wouldn't I? The gig ain't gonna last that long. I'm knowing it because I ain't finna put in no effort after what they told me in the job interview that everything went smooth without. I. Right. I don't know who told y'all that, but please stop saying that shit. Niggas don't give a fuck about y'all saying that little fairy tale ass shit by oh. I love you for just you. I don't want anything from you. I just want you to be here. So basically, bitch, what you're saying is you just need a nigga for his physical, right? Because if you don't need me for nothing, I know I, another nigga will be over here. Let me go out of town too long. Bitch, you have another nigga because you don't really need shit from niggas like that. Stop telling people that. Y'all be saying y'all fuck nigga free, but y'all really be the fuck niggas. Like the shit don't make no sense. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Smart women, grown women, bitches that know, they know. They ain't even have to sit here and listen to me say this shit that many times. They know. It's no way I'm sitting around a grown man, laying up with a grown man, living with a grown man, hanging around a grown man, texting a grown man, and I'm finna sit up here and tell this nigga, this job be interviewing for... We don't actually need him to do nothing. Is you crazy? I need you for everything you got. Even if low key, I don't need you for none of it. Bitch, I need you. I need you for moral support. I need you for verbal support. I need you for physical support. I need your ass for motherfucking financial support. I need you if I got kids for child support. Nigga, I need your ass. The fuck? I need you to talk to, I need you to laugh with me, I need you to drive me, I need you to pump my gas, nigga, I need you to change my tie, nigga, I need an oil change, motherfucker, I need a nut, nigga, I need a back rub, nigga, I need somebody to talk to, bitch, I need somebody to come talk to these kids, nigga, I need the vent, nigga, I need you. I don't know what the fuck wrong with y'all. Don't no nigga want no bitch talking that fairy tale ass shit. Now, with that being said, I'm doing a Zoom tomorrow night on relationships. You can text 678-965-0698. After go, because I have a one-on-one -on -one phone call, you can book a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me by texting 678-965-0698. That's 678-965-0698. You guys have a great night.